get up and go, just got up and left. Quality of life is what's important to the patient. I was noticing a difference in my mental mood. I just would go to bed sometimes 10, 11 o'clock even, but wake up at 1, 2. The fact of the matter is you're going to feel better. See, where did I leave my drill? Uh, oh, what did I come out here for? You're going to have more energy. You're going to be able to think better. And I've always had some challenges during workout, um, after workout, but I just worked through it. What, in essence, we're doing is empowering each cell in the body to function to its full potential. A researcher and clinical physician who has been named one of the world's 2,000 outstanding scientists of the 21st century. Dr. Keller has served on the scientific review panels for the National Institutes of Health and the VA. He's also published more than 100 original articles and has been awarded several patents. With his extensive knowledge and expertise, Dr. Keller was not satisfied with simply working to avoid or cure disease. He chose to pursue a medical method for improving his patient's quality of life. What, in essence, we're doing is empowering each cell in the body to function to its full potential. Glutathione is basically defined as a cell protector. What do I mean by that? Some antioxidants take care of products of oxygen burning. Some of them take care of products of nitrogen burning. Some of them take care of products of hydroxyl burning. They're all different radicals. This takes care of everything. Powerful glutathione is part of your body's natural system of checks and balances. Your body burns oxygen as fuel. It's a wonderful thing. But if you think about oxygen just outside of the body and you put a match to it, it ignites. It is a burning substance. And in point of fact, the same thing happens in the body. The fact of the matter is you create these oxidants which could eat at the cell. And the only way to take care of that is to produce or, or generate or instill an antioxidant that will quench that fire. Byproducts of oxidation can build up in cells over time, caused by normal cellular function, as well as diet and environmental factors, such as smoking, stress, and pollution. The oxidative damage they cause can actually break cells down, causing inflammation at the cellular level. We're all familiar with inflammation, the stiffness and discomfort of an injury or swollen joint, but the role of inflammation is particularly significant on the cellular level. Glutathione's incredible power lies in its ability to absorb and clear the oxidants from within cells. This natural chemical component can neutralize the byproducts of oxidation and clear them from every cell in your body so that the cell's natural function returns and its own restorative power is released reducing inflammation within the cell. For all its power, glutathione is a vital commodity in your body. Natural glutathione levels drop dramatically with age, even as the effects of oxidative stress are adding up. In fact, glutathione levels begin to drop appreciably as early as age 20. With your body producing less glutathione over time, what can you do to assure that you have adequate glutathione levels in your cells? If you use a glutathione supplement, it will be destroyed in your stomach before it is absorbed in your body. And even if glutathione could reach the cells, the glutathione molecule is simply too big and heavy to pass through the cell membrane. Look at it this way. You've got a hole this big and a substance this big. It doesn't fit in very well. Glutathione. Now, who has not heard of that word before tonight? There's still a lot of people raising your hands. And it wasn't that long ago where I would go give a lecture to a couple hundred people, and maybe there was a handful of folks putting up their hand. But I guarantee you this, that in the next five or six years, everybody will be using the word glutathione as commonly as you use the word antioxidant, as commonly as you use the word cholesterol. As of the present date, there's over 65,000 65, articles on glutathione. Every time I open up a medical journal, every time you open up a health magazine, you are going to hear about the glutathione. So get very used to that word. What is glutathione? 
It's a, again, it's a small little protein made up of three amino acids. And you all have glutathione in your body already. What does glutathione do? Well, when I speak to a medical audience, I'll have a, a PowerPoint uh, presentation and show you 20 or 30 different things that glutathione does on an intracellular level. But tonight, if you can remember just three things, then we've done our job in educating you. And the way to remember the three things, the three most important things that glutathione does in your body, is to remember the word aid. A I D. Not AIDS. Applications in AIDS, but AID. A stands for antioxidant. Who's heard of antioxidants? Uh, everybody's heard. It's a patronizing question, but the reason why I ask it is to make a point. If I would have asked you 30 years ago, maybe there would have been a few people raising their hands. But now, everybody's heard of antioxidants, so that you would think that given the importance of antioxidants in so many health issues that your body would make its own antioxidant and in fact it does the most important antioxidant the most abundant antioxidant the most active antioxidant that you make is glutathione and this is one of the reasons why if you look at the literature you see glutathione described as the master antioxidant the other reason why it's called a master antioxidant is, get this, none of the other antioxidants that you mentioned, and none of the other antioxidants that you're going to find at a health food store or at a pharmacy, none of them could work were it not for the presence of glutathione. We said AID, let's move on to I, the immune system. Another hot topic. Are you able to pick up a newspaper these days without reading something about the immune system. You're reading about Ebola, you're reading about West Nile, you're reading about the avian flu, you're reading about all these wonderful bugs that are making themselves into our population. Your immune system is set up to protect your body from anything that's supposed to, that's not supposed to be in your body, what we call a foreign antigen. And a foreign antigen could be a bacteria, it could be a virus, it could be a fungus, it uh, uh, could be many different things that aren't supposed to be in your body. Your immune system is set up to prevent that from happening. If you start running low on glutathione, your ability to fight off an infection becomes blunted. And when you look at glutathione and the way people write about glutathione, they describe glutathione literally as fuel or food for these critical white blood cells, fuel for the immune system. So that's A, glutathione, your master antioxidant, I, glutathione, fuel for your immune system, and finally D, detoxification. And by no accident, the highest levels of glutathione that you have in your body is in your liver, which after all is your major organ of detoxification. It's responsible for getting rid of things that you're exposed to every minute of every day. Break down products of cigarette smoke, automobile exhaust, heavy metals like lead and mercury, pesticides and herbicides, and a long list of carcinogens, things, uh, carcinogens, a cancer causing agent, things that show up in the water that you drink, the air that you breathe, and the food that you eat every day. And I tell people that next to water, next to water, there's no more important detoxification substance in your body. When you understand the importance of glutathione in each and every single cell of your body, you'll understand why this is so critical to maintaining your health. Thank you very much for your attention.